what's going on, what's going on, what's going on, money? How you all doing? Money, rock that, rock that, rock that. I am going live, and we are getting ready to go live with Tashawn Jackson. Up oh, there he is. We get ready to tune in. Money, bring the pain. Bring the pain. Up, up. Everybody coming in here. Get in here. Share this, y'all. Share this out. There he is. Look what's at that, on, y'all. Man? We got Tashawn Jackson in the house. And listen, everybody, I want y'all, I want y'all to know right now because I don't have this game. The brother is in proper lighting. Do you see the hat? Money, money, bring the pain, yo. They ain't ready for it. So listen. <laughs> How you doing, man? Doing good. How about so? Man, I am doing pretty good. I'm excited to, uh, we are excited to have you on and to talk about um, the Rocket Tour that's coming up and you being a part of that. And then we also, man, just want to find out um, some stuff about you, right? And so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got Sean Jackson, a, uh, a pro wedding photographer out of Dallas, Texas, right, bringing the pain. Um, that brother is, is a man of color, just like myself, right? I want y'all to share this out, um, share his name out and all of that stuff. And then, bro, I want to give you an opportunity, man. Go ahead, because uh, I can talk a lot. Um, you probably picked that up already. I want you to go ahead and introduce yourself. All right, my name is Tashawn Jackson. I am a Caribbean born and raised wedding photographer, but I live in Dallas. Wow. Caribbean. See, I didn't even know that, man. Hold on, say Say, say that again, because I, I think I heard the accent, brother. Go ahead, say that again. Oh, you you're my British accent there. No, <laughs> dude, that's <laughs> hot. <laughs> <laughs> but that's hot. Hold on, dude, yeah. talk some more. Just go ahead and talk. I, I ain't going to say nothing. I was born in Antigua and Barbuda. It's a beautiful island in the Eastern Caribbean. I've been in Very cool. Since, was, since 1996, been in the U.S. But really? I have architecture. I have an architecture and a civil designing degree. But wow, dude, about. that is so, that is so cool. So listen, I, I want to jump into this because one, I, bro, I, the British accent and the Caribbean, I didn't even know that, man. You know what I mean? I thought you was a good old fashioned Texan. You know what I mean? Dallas born and raised. So, so check this out. I didn't know. I didn't know. You know what I mean? Charge it to my head, not my heart. You right? Um, so listen, um, I want to jump into this a little bit, right? So, first of all, tell everybody again where they can find you, right? And then uh, talk to them about what you're going to be teaching at the Rock That Tour. All right, you can find me anywhere online. Just Google my name, Tashawn Jackson. That's very easy to spell, T-E-S-H-O-R-N, Jackson. You can find me on Instagram, same. All my handles are the same anywhere you go online. Tashawn Jackson. Correct, correct. Okay, so that, I'm going to tell you, brother, that's what threw me off is that Jackson name, right? You know what I mean? The Jackson, and you from, you Caribbean, right? That's is that right. a common, is that a common Caribbean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jackson, yeah. Johnson's, they're all, you know, they're all there. Drop off, dude. We just got dropped off different places. I got you. That dude, that's hot. Now I, I didn't know that, right? So so check it out. To Sean Wedding Photographer, he's gonna be talking about marketing um in Houston, right? So rock that tour uh, dot com. After this live is over, his uh code is um Rock that to Sean, right? Rock that to Sean 30 will give you $30 off the $99 all day training, right? And that will give you $30 off using his code. Rock that to Sean 30, all right? Um, we'll do that for you all. And so now that I've just found this out, dude, um, I want to, I want everybody to know a little bit more about you. You've been here since 96, right? So how many years is that? Is that, what is that, 23 years? 23 years, correct, yep. Really? Okay, so so you and then dude, what's so awesome is you got a degree in architecture and what else? Did you say something else? I have an associates in civil design. And civil design and a degree in architecture. So so tell us, man, what makes a brother um walk away from architecture, civil design, right, and take on photography? Tell us about Well for one that. I have to get when I study architecture at the University of Texas in Arlington you know, studying at the college or university level, you can do what you want to do in terms of design. When you get that real corporate architecture, you have limited say in what a project looks like. Mm. And for myself, I design a lot of CVS. I say design because CVS stores has 119 different prototypes. Mm. So I don't really wow. get to design it, but I get to design it. I got you. That's high. So, so, dude, that's that's very cool. So, you you were you had a hand in some CVS designs, and you say that they have 119 prototypes, right? Experts. Right. So about so we gonna say what about 18, 19, 28 of them is yours? Just about, 
Yeah. All right, rock that. See what I'm saying? That's very cool. And so would you say that transitioning from that, you know, in, in civic design and architecture, which still takes a creative hand, did that make the process of transitioning to photography easier for you? I wouldn't say it easier, uh, because I did more than CBS. Like I did a lot of airports and security checkpoints. Mm -hmm. After the 2009 Christmas Day bomb threats, we got contracted by TSA to handle all the checkpoints. But you go to the airport, you have to do this, hands up, go to the machine, yeah. hands around. A lot of those layouts I actually had a hands in, all the space planning for that. But in terms of photography and architecture, they kind of help each other out a little bit because I okay. see things architecturally. Really? In terms very of cool. How I'm composing something. Like I like to make sure things are very symmetrical, and I look. You like, you like symmetrical. Okay. Symmetry, leading lines, all those basic composition elements are things you do in architecture too. Very cool, man. I didn't even do. I, I had, I had no clue. That's very cool. That's that's hot. So, so, so let's fast forward, right? You started out. You got your degree in architecture, right? You're not doing that anymore. And so now, um, you're doing wedding photography. How would you compare uh, having a photographic career, right, as opposed to architecture? Do you love it more? Do you? I mean, uh, uh, is it about equal? I mean, tell everybody kind of what you're thinking, because we have a lot of photographers out there who are in professional careers, right? And I can tell you there are some right now that are probably thinking about making a jump and they're scared to because the um and i keep going out of focus forgive me if not we just got to continue here we go right um and they're scared to because you know it's the corporate job it's the constant paycheck it's the you know what i mean it's it's what's wrapped around in that and what and how people feel about do i leave what's stable to now go and pursue a creative career right where things constantly change talk to us a little bit and tell us your thoughts all right so i worked in that field for 10 years five months and three days i'm a numbers guy don't don't fault me but for me <laughs> i kind of leaving my career a long time ago but you know that fear creeps in that consistent paycheck every two weeks and a professional paycheck of that yes and I, at one point, I actually packed up my things and left the office one day and said, I'm not coming back. But the following morning, you know, I ain't, I ain't tell my wife anything. I'm not always done. I'm like, I'm done, man. I'm tired of this. Thing. Yo, I hate traffic. traffic for me, I hate traffic with a passion. You can't catch me driving to Dallas at 3 in the afternoon because I hate traffic. Yes. But Dude. I got scared. So I went back. But it was, you know, so January 25th, 2011, I'm at the Mavericks game. They're watching the Mavs play. I think it was the, the Clippers. And I'm sitting in nosebleed section. I had $10 tickets. And a friend of mine told me to come to the game with him. Yeah. And I'm like, why am I sitting up here? I got a professional career. I have the ability to sit on the ground, on the floor. I'm sitting in nosebleed for $10 tickets. <laughs> and I got really upset. I remember the next morning, I got about, my wife was in a conference in, I think, Orlando somewhere. Uh -huh. And... I prayed, I, I got up and I prayed, I said, God, I'm ready for a change today. This was January 26, 2011. And my Facebook mm. status was that morning, a change is coming. So I'm driving to work. Wow. And I remember like the past 10 years kind of flashed before, before my eyes. And I get to work and around like 10 o'clock, we had an announcement in the, of the intercom. And they called one of my coworkers to the, the HR floor. And about 15 minutes later, I saw him come back down. He's like crying. I'm like, what? What do crying? Like, what's going on? He told me he got wow. laid off. And I was like, and I got pissed. I was like, you got laid off? I prayed for a change today. How how you get laid off? How you get laid off. <laughs> <laughs> and then one by one, they kept calling names. I'm like, y'all gonna call me? <laughs> because I'm like ready to go. Yeah. And my name called. I went to HR. And I was excited. My boss was, you know, you know, thank me for my service there. Talking about all the seven packages. I'm like, I'm good. And like, they were like, are you okay? Because everyone else is kind of sad they get laid off. And I was excited. Wow. I mean, that, that's, that's, that, that's, that's transformative. That's good stuff, man. Yeah. Rock that, dude. And, and you know what? There are people out here right now, people who are watching um, and will watch this that need to hear that. Right. They needed to hear that. They need that push for the transition and they need to know that they're not the only ones that maybe um, hate their job. I hate the, the, the get up and grind every morning. Right. Or feel like their potential is greater than um, what they're seeing every day. Right. And they need that push and they need the courage to jump. 
right, in the leap, even without seeing what the end looks like. And so, dude, thank you for that story, right? Um, because that is, that is, even though you're a photographer and you're a creative professional, that is entrepreneurship, right? And that is risk-taking. And that is, I have an expected end, and I don't know what tomorrow's going to look like. I just know it got to be better than what I'm dealing with right now. So money, we're going to take that leap. Right. So right. Sean, that's money. Money, that's the hottest say, dude. Dude, that's the say, hottest stuff on the that, planet. But but even then uh -huh. when I laid off, I didn't have a plan per se because I shot maybe less than five weddings in my life. Wow. And remember that's twenty eleven, so I wasn't really a wedding photographer. I was still on the am amateur playing around you know, photography um level. But I knew mm. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I mean, I was in the process of writing a book, but I started other companies in the interim. But it wasn't until like 2012 I said, you know what, I'm going to do this. Because people ask me to shoot weddings all the time, and I turn just about everyone down. I'm like, yeah. weddings, nah. Let me shoot some families, some couples, some models. Then I realized weddings actually is not that bad. Yeah. And in 2013, I said, I would do it full time, focus strictly on weddings itself. And it's been a roller coaster, but a lot of ups, a couple downs here and there. Yeah, but it's really one of the best decisions I've done. Dude, that's hot. It, it is so cool to see um, a man of color, right, who has basically become small business owner, entrepreneur, right, who stuck it out. Right. And, and, and dude, thank I, I got to say thank you for that, because there are a lot of people who start the process and it's and that's just what it is. It's a process. Right. Every day is not an update. Um, the things that you plan don't go the way you want them to. But I always tell people, man, just keep going. Don't stop. Some days aren't pretty. You don't know what it's going to look like. But if you keep going. Right. Um, it will start to form up. Right. And so dude, thank you for being that example. Brother, rock that. You know what I mean? And thank you for, you know, once again, the the do the British accent because I'm you know what I mean? I can't I can't do it. I'm not even gonna try and I was gonna try and do it. I'm not even gonna try and do it, dude. Right, rock that. So listen, man. Since man, that's my thing. You say say what now? No, I, I have a thing with accents, you know. So I swing in and out when I need to use them. <laughs> Very cool. So just joined us on. I just watch him now. He's back in Antigua right now. He and I grew up together, like brothers. Uh -huh. and, you know, and he's also a photographer in Antigua. Oh, sweet. Well, in fact, sweet. I would say he's the top photographer on the island right now. Till I come through. <laughs> Until you come through. Ah, ah, that's so how I go, man. You know what I mean? We gonna talk a little junk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We've always had a, a brotherly competition since we were kids. That's good. That's good. That's good. So listen, man. I wanna um, I wanna say this because this this here's the deal. We established MAP, right? Multicultural Association of Professional Photographers. It's a nonprofit organization. We established it for one purpose, right? When I go, when I went to conferences, when I started out my career, my career, dude, is is similar, um, is similar to yours in the sense that. Uh, I was working a job. I was a forklift truck driver, right? I, dude, I, I was driving a forklift truck in warehouses. I had two great jobs, two great jobs. At the same time, I got laid off of both within four months, right? And so my story is, is that if I was going to do this thing called photography, I had to make it work. You know what I mean? And so I hustled, I hustled, I hustled, I hustled. And I would go to conferences, man, and I would see nobody who looked like me. You know what I mean? I would see nobody who looked like me. And, and, and you get to those moments where you'd be like, well, you know what? Maybe this ain't for me. You're, right? you're not making no money. You're out here hustling. You're spending money. You're running out of money. The wife looking at me cross-eyed like, okay, you know, this photography thing is nice, but um, <clears throat> when you're going to get a real job, you know what I mean? And you get to the point where you're like, I don't know if this can work, right? And then I see, um, I see Terry White at a Photoshop world. And it changed my view of thinking. I saw I saw a man of color performing at a high level, right, who looked like me. And it gave me a boost of energy that, okay, this can be done, right? And so we established MAP, man, to surround people with a community uh, of folk that would encourage you, not only that get you high-level training at, at, low, at low barriers of entry and introduce uh, folk to people who look like them so that they can um, reach for the stars, right? 
Um, that's what this is about. We are not profit driven. Um, we are a nonprofit organization. We are an affiliate of the PPA, which is the largest trade organization in the world for photographers. But it is its sole purpose is to provide a platform for people of color that folk that really want to do this. We can help see you through and uh, and cover you. And that's that is strictly what we do. That's it. Right. Um, dude, that's the only way we can do what we do at the level we try to do it at at the price point that we do it at, right? And so bringing in speakers like you and your caliber, right, to come in and speak and, and to be able to introduce a, um, a community, right, uh, a culture, to be able to introduce them to you, knowing now that you're Caribbean with a British accent from, da you know, in Dallas, Texas, a successful wedding photographer who got some bumps on his head along the way, right, dealt with family stuff, right, dealt with all of that stuff, and now you're, you're our, you are where you want want to be and doing the stuff that you want to do that is important for our community and dude i am happy that you came on board um i'm happy that you're speaking thank you for that and dude, we got to do this we got to do this more right uh we need to introduce you more to a broader community because this kind of stuff is important your story dude is dude i'm excited now like like i don't want to get off you know what i mean um and so we're going to share this like mad, man. And so let me ask, let, let me ask you this, because Terry White, we did a live with Terry White earlier today, and he asked me this question. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you this, because this is the, the plight of, of so many people of different nationalities, right? What, what is that one thing that keeps you going? Or what was that defining moment that said, I'm not turning back? I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep doing this. To let our audience know what what that is well, i think it's two things for me again i said 2013 i decided to do it full time and although i was doing okay i felt like mm -hmm. something was missing and i remember july that year i went to i had a speaking engagement at a, a middle school loved the engagement mm -hmm. i went to my friend's studio and we he helped him out today i said you need help he said yeah help me out i helped him out and in helping him out i saw him editing some photos and i saw the image i'm like this composition doesn't make sense in camera. There's only so many focus points in this camera. How are you composing it this way? And what he told me, I was like, I read about that about two years ago. Didn't think anything of it. I see what this book is about. Because I plan on quitting. Because I feel like if I can't get, if I can't do what I really want to do, I'm an entrepreneur. This is a land of opportunity. You can be anything you want in this country. So I said, anything, I'm going to stop this wedding. But in help helping him, I got something out of it which allowed me to really go even to the next level but what's really kept me going so far let me show you hey, yeah get it dude rock that this little guy here yeah this is my, <laughs> my main motivation right now okay <laughs> this, this my benjamin. what's his name just, benjamin. Benjamin? benjamin yep what's up benjamin you want to wave, wave? <laughs> Yeah, so this is my very cool, dude. What's that? Sole purpose. That was that deciding moment. That's interesting, man, that you went somewhere to help somebody, right? And you got a revelation on on what would keep you going, right? So that essentially says to me community. Community is important, right? Um, both giving and receiving, right? Rock that. So listen to Sean. Money. Um, dude, tell him again. Tell everybody again where they can find you and what you got Tashawn coming Jackson. up. To Sean Jackson, you can Instagram, find me on Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. If you just search my name, just search my name, you'll find where. Okay, where, where rock that. Anything, anything special you got coming up, man? What you doing? What you looking yeah, at? I have the Resolve Workshop, the Resolve Workshop in LA next February. It's a high-level photojournalism and beauty workshop. with some street talk in okay. with some dope coaches from around the world. Um, mainly it's really, that's really for the, yeah it's for those who really want to take their work to the next level it's it's a nice investment but it's the value is is way amazing so okay where can people find that at still they all they got to do is search to Sean jackson or there's a special the url workshop. the resolve workshop. the revolve workshop See, revolve the, the url is you are the url is resolveworkshop.com okay
resolveworkshop.com. Everybody go there, resolveworkshop.com. Listen, to Sean, I want to thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you can find rockthattour.com. He's going to be in Houston with us May 7th. Tuesday, May 7th, um, with his code to Shorn, uh, I'm sorry, rock that to Shorn 30, right? We'll give you $30 off all day training, right? 30 bucks, right, from some of the best in the industry all day, right? Um, we're going to be at the Houston Food Bank in Houston, Texas, which will be really, really, really dope. What's also happening is that night at 7 o'clock, we're going to have a network event, which will be free for everybody in the Texas area, Dallas, Houston, wherever you're from, money. We're going to be at the uh, at that event. Also, you can check that out on uh, rockthattour.com, right? Rock that to Sean 30. We'll give you $30 off um, his code. He's going to be talking to us about marketing. He's going to be giving you uh, some of his marketing techniques, all right? It's going to be the hottest stuff on the planet. I'm going to be glad to meet you, Sean, in person. Money, it's going to be the hottest stuff on earth, yo. Y'all ain't even ready. Share this out. Share this out. Make sure you check out the Sean Jackson, yo. It's on, guys. My name is Sean Lee, uh, CEO and president of MAP. Right, founder of the Rock That Photography Conference and Trade Show taking place in June. Go to rockthatconference.com to check it out. We got some of the highest level speakers on the planet that are diverse speaking at the conference for $150, y'all. So, listen, you can't beat that with a stick. Three days, uh, parties, receptions, the whole nine, motor coaches, everything, guys. So you don't want to miss that. To Sean, once again, man, thank you. Man, I appreciate your history, um, where you come from, right? And I know you're doing it for your man, Benjamin. Whatever your motivating factor is, everybody, whatever that is, don't stop. Wrap your head around it. Keep going. I promise you'll be successful. Y'all, we're going to talk to Sean again because this dude is, is awesome. Money rock that. You know what I mean? Y'all, we out. It's a, I'm about to it's let it go. Thing. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you it's say? A Caribbean thing. It's, it's a what? A Caribbean it's a, thing. Yeah, I, I, that's a car. See, I, see, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to have to charge that once again. Look ahead. That's what I'm just going to send. I see Terry. I see Davesco. I mean, Scott Skull here. I'm shot yes. Out of the tree Bow tie. Um, Aram, let's see. Yeah, I'm seeing everybody. Uh, let me wave. Let, let me wave to him. You know, dude, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not really good with. Uh, I gotta get my Instagram game up. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Comfort in Ohio. Shout out to everybody. What's up, man? That's what, yes, that's what's up. My man, dude, I appreciate you, man. We out, y'all. Well, Again, join us. Peace, man. Thank you, sir. Uh, appreciate you. Bye-bye.